Hello Soul Tribe, my spiritual warriors, my little earth angels, coffee with Captain Reed. Let's, uh, we're going to do another reading, another talk. I got some questions from Denise, Jay, Guy Field, and Nancy, um, and I'm going to answer the question. I want to change it up. I'm going to answer the questions first because um, try to get it out the way and then we'll go in that way. And I, uh, when I did that before and I had some get shook up and they was like, just read the cards, please. Just read the cards, okay? <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, okay. Everybody calm down, bro. Okay. Anyway, yes. Welcome to the channel, Spiritual Goddess 1111. For those that are new here, please stay a while. Let's drink some coffee together and we'll, uh, we'll have a good time. I uh, I am at work. As you can see, I'm on the boat. Uh, not in my office or whatever at the camp. I'm going to do a a uh, a 21 card spread, 48 cards. Cap card is going to be the 48 card. Never read the bottom of the deck as usual going to use the Divine Headquarters Oracle uh, by Mystic Beauty and uh, I, I everybody knows I love Mystic Beauty she is an angel um, and I guess that's about it uh, I'm still waiting on YouTube I think they they I think but that's the first time we do this so y'all have to uh, bear with me but I think that that they pay their pay goes through for the for the advertisements around the sixth I think from I think uh, I'm not I might have to research that but it's coming and when it comes I will post it put it on the community board on TikTok on Facebook everyone will know and everyone will know where it's going because I'll post that also that being said, Denise. Denise says, what is a star seed? Denise, a star seed is exactly what it is, exactly what it sounds like. It's a um, someone that is a seed from uh, a person, a um, what we would call a ET from a another dimension, another uh some people say another planet. Um, there's some identifiers for star seeds. Well, you know, spiritual warriors and earth angels in the mix. There are there are star seed twin flames or star seeds. We we don't come from here. We come from another dimension. Um, and there are some identifiers. Some people say what well, and there's I, and birthmarks whatnot when I was young it's faded now but as you grow older sometimes birthmarks fade but when I was younger I had a birthmark of a cup on my like a chalice type uh, birthmark on my left wrist and never forget this because when I was young I grew up as a cowboy my daddy he shoot he, he was a he shoot horses put shoes on horses and uh, he was a fairer and uh, taught me a lot, trained some horses, broke a lot of horses. And uh, uh, when I was small, I would forget what side I was supposed to get on on that horse. When I would go to get on my horse, my horse was named Diamond. And um, my horse, I would forget what side that I was supposed to get on, you know. And so my dad had, brilliant as he is he comes up there and he says you see that bird mark right there and it's 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 very faded you can't even see it i can but you can't you wouldn't be able to anyway yes he said you see that bird mark right there mm -hmm. yeah that he said when you're standing behind that horse that's what side you get on i was like and i never forgot that even i mean it, it's unbelievable anyway that cup would be an identifier that I am a star seed and the cup is the sign of Aquarius. It is a water bearer. It is an emotional. 
And I, I, I am, I, I am uh, in control of my emotions, and I take on a lot of other people's emotions. But anyway, next question. I hope I answered your question, Denise. And uh, thank you for the question, boo. Next question, God, God, uh, J. Godfield. Mm -mm. He, this question, the first question is about he says, uh, uh, according to the green. The green pad, <laughs> my 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 sound, my pop scrubber, <laughs> noise scrubber. He said, "Oh my God!" He said, "Instead of the green pad, do you think this, this is a serious question?" He has two questions. <laughs> he said, he said, "Instead of the green pad, do you think a basic brutal pad would work?" <laughs> oh my! Oh, I swear. I love it. I love it. I probably we would, but you probably wouldn't want the type of the soap on it. That would probably make a mess. It would be like real messy. Just get the, the kind that don't have no soap. <laughs> why not just use, let's just use a regular old sponge. I didn't have a regular sponge. That's why I went in the gallery and I got me one of them green pads. And it works. It works. Second question from God. J Guy, if you were to choose, would it be? Coke or Pepsi? <laughs> I swear. I swear. I can tell you a story about that too. When I was in the military, I was in basic training. Everything in the military is nomenclature, like letters and numbers. Like, what's a DD Farm 214? You know, you got to know all that kind of stuff. What's a DD Farm 214? And when you're just a young grasshopper in the military, <laughs> Drill Sergeant, I had a Drill Sergeant, his name was Drill Sergeant Daly. Hold on just a minute, let me, I want to, uh, yes, I had a Drill Sergeant named Drill Sergeant Daly, and I thought he was the baddest dude alive, I thought this dude, he was, he had, uh, did a, I think a couple of tours in Vietnam, and, uh, Purple Heart, <laughs> he was, he was, I, and, and I'm, I'm telling I thought he was crazy as hell, he's just like, he's nuts, my, and he had me shooked up one day and I didn't think this dude had no humor at all I thought this dude was like a fruitcake I mean he I thought he might you know he was like a super candidate for psychiatric care <laughs> <laughs> he had me scared to death <laughs> anyway he come up to me and he was screaming hollering raising all kind of hell ten kinds of hell and he said, Private, I'm going to ask you one question. He said, before you go to child, if you want to eat today, you better answer this damn question right. True story. He said, he said, what is PEPSI? And in, in military, man, you go straight towards, I mean, you think in military. And I had no clue what a PEPSI was. I was like. Oh, man, my hard drive was turning back. God, I was like, what is that? I don't know what that is, but damn, I know it's important because Drill saw and Daily asked me that shit, so I know it's got to be important. I was like, answer the damn question. He said, I said, I don't know. I was about to start crying. I said, I don't know. I don't know, Drill saw. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said, it's a damn Pepsi. <laughs> It's a damn Pepsi. He said, oh, my God. He said, go to child. Mm -hmm. uh, he, was, he started laughing. I didn't think this dude was capable of laughing. I'm telling you. This dude was like nuts. But I liked the hell out of him. I th I'm telling you, I thought he was the baddest dude alive. Like, he was like Rambo. Anyway, it would probably be Pepsi because of the story I just told. <laughs> God. Oh, my God. Nancy. What is the difference between a spirit and a soul? And she asks us in this question, I guess the, the pre-comment to this, because she had a little bit of comment, and she gives us an example of when Christ died on the cross. He's, you know, he says, I give up my, my spirit. Uh, the difference between a spirit and a soul is when God made man in Genesis 2, I think it's a, I can't remember offhand, but it's in Genesis 2, when God created Adam. 
I think it's in 5, Genesis 2, 5, maybe. It's a, a couple of verses down. He's, he makes man out of the dust of the earth. And out of the dust of the earth and divine spit, he spit in his hands and he formed man. Now, it doesn't say that. I'm telling you that. He made man out of the dust of the earth, out of clay. He made man. After he did that, he breathed the breath of life, the breath of spirit into man. That is spirit. Your spirit is the energy that you have. Your life, your the, the, the breath of life that you hold that God gives us. And when we die, we give up that spirit. That spirit, that energy goes back to God, the soul. That's why twins are of one soul. Well, one soul, and we have two two spirits, because Adam was one soul, and he took from Adam, and he made Eve, which was another spirit. That's the twin phenomenon, the twin flame uh, deal, and that's where we get that from. And it, it and it's it's just the fact that you your soul people say and and. It's, it really, it doesn't matter. We know what they're talking about when they say, you know, uh, our soul goes to heaven and save our soul. When we talk about, you know, if, if there's an airplane crash and they say they, there was 200 souls on board, there's 200 bodies. That's what it said. 200 souls on board. On this boat right now, I there's six souls on this boat. Six bodies. In the event something would happen, that's how they would refer to us as. We would give, if if in the event there was a catastrophe, then there would be six spirits that our energy would go back to God. I hope I answered your question, Nancy. Love the questions from all of you. Enjoyed, I enjoyed the questions. Uh, uh, let's see. I don't know if I answered this one. I'm, I'm going to answer it now because I don't want to leave it out. If, if I did answer it, disregard in a, a previous video, but that's his question about a twin flame intuition. Intuitive warrior says, Captain Reed, is there anything we can do as a twin flame to help hurry the awakening of our twin flame? No, there is not. I need to turn this off. No, there is not. Your twin flame is going to awaken. You can tell them of, a, of what your awakening and the process of your awakening, your deja vu, your dreams, whatever the case is within your awakening. You can say, I know you. In fact, part of your awakening is recognizing your twin. That's what you're going to do. Yes, you, you'll meet them somewhere or you go to uh, whatever the case is, whatever it is, a gathering. I don't know, if you might meet them at the Valero. I work for, we, our contract is with Valero. You might meet them at the Valero. And you're like, I know them. Mm -hmm. That is going to be part of your awakening might not know or why you know them or but that will come later but there's nothing you can do to hurry that along in fact there's nothing you can do to make your twin come into union with you that's up to them so anyway god bless you if you do because lord have mercy that's one of the worst <sighs> uh i did shuffle my cards i prayed over the cards before i started the video I pray, in fact, I pray every morning. I talk to God a lot, in fact. Uh, we, him and I are best friends. And uh, I do have my, my tarot deck here. Here, in case we need to clarify something, I will use my tarot deck. And we're going, as I said, we're going to use it. It's been a long time. I hadn't used this Divine Headquarters deck. It's been a while. A long time. Uh, First card out is spiritual initiation. Spiritual initiation. Hmm. Okay. I don't read one card, so we'll go ahead and flip. Light worker school. Well, light worker school. You were in a. You you went to school. And what a light worker school is. We are light workers. 
Let's just give me a minute. Okay. I do have some viewers that are a little sensitive when it comes to clearing your sinuses, so I have to do that like off camera because they they got a little shipped up over that. They like, please, can you not do that? <laughs> so I'm trying to accommodate everybody here. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, I may have to put that as a disclaimer. Yes, there are times that I may have to clear my sinuses. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> um, anyway, yes, we are light workers, stars. Uh, we are star seeds. We. We, some of us are, not all of us, but uh, we, they're within the ranks of our spiritual warriors. There are twin flames, there are soul mates, and a whole host of earth angels. And we incorporate within our, our spiritual army a diverse group of people, and uh, we are all spiritual. But the spiritual initiation part of this is, of course, you were initiated and you went into light worker school and that's where you learned. And you passed the spiritual test. Congratulations, you got your diploma. You are a spiritual warrior. <laughs> yes, we are. And that's a fact. We are spiritual warriors. We fight the good fight. And, uh, and I have always been a spiritual warrior. And we are high priest within the the ranks of that. We are a high priest and high priestesses. Hold on, let me get out of this now. I have some alarms set on my phone so that I can, because I do forget sometimes. And mm, anyway, yes, we are high priest and high priestesses of of this. That's what we went to light worker school for. That's what the spiritual initiation was for. And once we passed the spiritual test, we became ordained high priests within the spiritual ranks. I don't know if I should have paused that video to get, I don't know what that was. Hmm. Anyway, it, it wasn't food. I didn't eat yet, so it's not no food. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see what's next. Ancient knowledge. Within this school, you learn ancient knowledge. Some of us are born with ancient knowledge. It, it comes with the awakening. When you awaken, it's like a computer turns on and that hard drive goes to clicking and turning and burning. Yes, and you begin to get downloads of spiritual knowledge, of ancient knowledge that you know like the Akashic Book of Records. Uh, how would you know that? You wouldn't even know what the word is, but for some reason you knew what the word Akashic Book of Records. And it's like, well, and then you, you get the download of what it is, how to access it, what's in it. Mm -hmm. Yes, ancient knowledge. And you have a divine Yo, you have a divine job. You have a job that is divine. It is a a very serious job, a divine mission work, meaning that you here for a reason. You're here with a purpose, and you have an assignment to complete. It could be some type of mission work. Could be. It don't have to be. It could be something else could be something else your divine mission your divine assignment your divine purpose could be someone just an individual it could be that that's your purpose here is to teach this person a lesson or uh, some way some form some fashion to uh, and, and sometimes we do. Sometimes we do. We teach them a lesson that uh, that they won't soon forget. That's for sure. And uh, you know, and that's part of our part of the plan. 
Sometimes it hurts us a lot as an empath. All, I'm going to tell you this, all. Not everybody watching now because I have some haters, I have some stalkers, creepers, uh, a lot, I have a bunch of, of, uh, of those that uh, cross watchers, whatever the case is. They are not divine, they are not empathic, they are not empaths at all. They fall on the karmic toxic side of, in that camp. And they got all of their high tech equipment set up to watch me and other divine readers that are gifted because that's all part of the ancient knowledge is gifts that we learn though that is part of, of uh, some of us were anointed and some of us weren't some of us were just I, I guess we all are anointed you don't have to be anointed by your great grandmother or in that situation you can just be anointed by the spirit and it comes on you and you you, you, it's a gift that you develop as a teacher, a healer, a reader, a whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, let's see. Next one. Praying. You are. It falls underneath spiritual initiation. Uh, you are a praying man, and if you're not, you should be. But this is like non-gender specific. You could be a praying woman. There is a praying woman in card in this, and if that would have fell. I would have said the same thing. That just, just means this is a masculine energy and within the masculine energy because we, every being in the world, every being present today has both masculine and feminine characteristics within them. I have both. I am more feminine. Doesn't mean that I'm like girly and shit, but I have... I am more feminine. I <clears throat> I am more of a nurturing individual, and uh, but we all have that. We all have both, and you can research it. I want you to. I don't want you to just take my word for everything I say. I want you to go to Google. Anything that I want you to listen to me. If a doctor tells you something, you need to go to Doctor Google and research it. Doctor Google sometimes can give you some good information. Now, don't always listen to Dr. Google because they could be wrong too. Mm -hmm. Spiritually. Mm -hmm. Spiritually. Go to Pastor Google. Pastor Google. <laughs> Google got a lot of names, I'm telling you. A lot of titles. Go to them and they could help you with a lot of this. But praying man falls under spiritual initiation. And... Within that spiritual initiation, within that light work of school, is where we were taught to pray, how to pray, what to pray for, how to manifest things, because that is a gift. An alchemist, we are manner, uh, master manifestors. We are alchemists. We can manifest things that no one else can. We can make things happen that no one else can and it's a fact and some of some of our friends and those that we've done things for will tell you that's a fact they can let's see traveler you came from somewhere else light work falls under light work traveler you you are not from here you came from somewhere else we just talked about that in the question the star seed Mm. Mm. It's a slip. It was an accidental slurp that didn't mean it. So y'all don't hit my my comment box with the, them nasty grams about the slurp. And that was an accident. It was a little one, not a big one. Before it was like a big slurp. I used to like big. Oh, so I was a big slurper. <laughs> Freaking, bro. My viewers gonna be like, this nerd is he nuts, man. He's like drills are daily. He's a fruitcake. Traveler. We and we see clearly now. Remember before I told you when I do the 21 card base, the 21 card base is this is what you're thinking, this is what you're doing, and 
this down here is going to be the outcome of what you're thinking and what you're doing. I've, I've said that before. Okay, so right now what you do is you're a very, you are a praying person. You pray a lot. You should. If you don't start, you should pray a lot. You, you, not from here. You came from somewhere else. And I, I don't mean literally. I, I, I mean literally, but not in the sense of I am come from Memphis or I come from South Louisiana. I come from another place, another dimension. Yes. And my mama would probably say I'm crazy. And she may not even agree with it. But does that matter? No. No. I ain't from here, mama. <laughs> no. They see clearly. Contract, whatever you had, whatever contract which you was involved with, it's over. Your contract has ended. It may not be because of your choice. It may be or because of your actions. Let me put it that way. Because a lot of times contracts end because of actions involved. It's because someone broke the contract. Okay? And that's what I think this is. This is a, a intentional, a purpose breaking of a contract. They broke the contract. And you know that now because it lands next to seeing, seeing clearly. Mm. You have something new. This is not a new job a, a, in, in the sense of 3D, a new job. You have a new job in the sense of a, another contract. You have something else that you are given. Uh, don't know what it is. Um, it may say, but as of now, we don't know what it is. We just know that there is another contract. And see, new beginning. I'm telling you. Contract ended. You're hard. New job. You got another job to do. And there is a new beginning involved. Yeah. There's something that happened that you had a contract about something. Some, And when I say a contract, oftentimes it talks about within the... the, the within the... The twin flame connection, within soulmate connections, within that, and it don't have to be that. It could be something else. But within that, there is what you what you call a a contractual. Uh, you you go into contract with someone that in this life we're going to come into union. In this life, we're going to find a connection and hold that connection. And we're going to complete our purpose and our assignment together. You have my back. I have your back. I will protect you up to and with my life. Physical. Not, not spiritual. Physical life. We, I will protect you. This contract ended because of someone, whoever it is. This could be something else, though. It could be a contract, a spiritual contract that doesn't involve that let me give you another example could be the mission you could have a spiritual contract that you are going to complete a mission a uh, uh, like you're going to uh, heal people you're going to do that type of work okay and if you do something that goes against that contract it's going to be pulled from you you're not going to do it because sometimes we're given lessons in our life and it's, it's, we don't look at it that way. We look at it, you know, damn, I can't believe this happened to me. I was abused, whatever. I was, uh, and, and this is very, very sensitive, so I'm going to tread this very lightly. But uh, we were molested as a, as, as a child or someone in that sense. When it comes to a female, I was raped. There's all kind of scenarios with Drill Sergeant Daly. This this man was had PTSD like you have never seen. He was in in combat. He was most likely he was Purple Heart. So, with all that being said, those were lessons that were given to us. I'm not going to say they were gifts. They're not. 
but they were lessons for us so that we could heal others. We know how to heal. As earth angels, we know how to heal others because it happened to us. It happened to us, so I could tell you how to move on. I could tell you how to heal and move at the same time. Because if you stay stuck, it's going to be there for a long time. I can tell you that. New beginning. Ooh, blessing. See, blessing. We're just talking about it. Some things we don't look at as a blessing from God. Sometimes we look at it as a curse, which is it's not. It's not. It's something that happened to us to teach us a lesson. Yes. Mm-hmm. We. You could be that blessing. In fact, you are a blessing. I'm going to tell you that straight up. You are a blessing. Each of us that are earth angels, each of us that are spiritual warriors, we are a blessing to someone. Someone. Either we were a blessing that perhaps turned into a lesson for them because once they once they turn into once this turns into a lesson then they know that you were that blessing that's what that lesson was and for some of us this is still going on and yet to come you are, you are a blessing i can tell you that yes and god gives this to you yes you look, i'm telling you, gift from god you are a gift from god whatever and also god gives us gifts reading like I said before, there's a healing, there's all kinds of alchemists, uh, there's all kinds of gifts that God gives us that we oftentimes don't. And in scripture, sometimes church is against that. That's right here, I'm going to tell you straight up, the church does not, they frown on this. They frown on reading, readers. Yes, they do not appreciate this gift. Uh, even if it's going to help thousands of people in Africa, that the, that the, the same church that condemns what we do, I do, whoever does, my readers that what are within our ranks, they condemn that. They don't do shit for them people in Africa. Unbelievable. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. I, uh, yes, you, you. You have to develop the gifts. In scripture it says the gift of discernment. And that, that we have gifts of intuition. That you, It takes time to develop that. Once you develop and you use that. It's an unbelievable thing to have. Yes, it's an unbelievable thing to have. Discernment is you will know the truth. You will be able to read people. You'll be able to know what the truth is. Regardless of what they say, you're going to know what the truth is. That's what discernment is. Under, understanding things that are hidden. Spiritual general, you are a high-ranking individual within the spiritual ranks. Within Because you went to this school, this light worker school, because you passed the spiritual test and you were spiritually initiated you are a ranking warrior you are a ranking warrior imagine that i just said the word ranking warrior you are a ranking spiritual warrior falls right next to spiritual general unbelievable yes you are i'm telling you your contract, it falls underneath contract ended. Perhaps this person that the contract ended with, this contract itself involved another spiritual warrior, involved someone else that was very spiritual. And uh, I don't know if they know it, but that contract ended and it is over. What God-given talent lands under your heart, new job. God-given talent. You have, and it lands next to spiritual warrior. That is your talent. You are a warrior. You are a warrior. Yes. You do not give in. You do not stop. Mm -mm. No.
That is your God-given talent. Pray, man. Pray. You spend a lot of time at the altar. And your this altar can be this table right here. This desk. An altar does not have to be a place. Uh, it doesn't have to be like I go, I, I, I have gone. Uh, it, the little town I, I uh, live in, uh, it's about seven, eight miles away from my, my home, but the, the town that I live in, behind the church, there is a, a, a nice quiet place like a grotto that you can go and you can pray. Where I'm from, the church has in the woods a a grotto that you can go and you can pray. It's a very, very nice place, very spiritual place. It don't have to be that though. It doesn't have to be going into a church at all. It can be in your home. It don't have to incorporate all kind of tools or trinkets. It don't have to be with candles or incense. You just spend a lot of time at the altar. A lot of time praying, manifesting, meditating. That's what you do. That's what. That's all. That's the same. That's all. We, sometimes we make things a whole lot more complicated than it needs to be. There is a lot of divine inheritance involved with you, and this is not necessarily. It can be, but it's not necessarily. Yeah, I got both of them. What is it? Hmm. Uh. Doesn't necessarily mean pentacles. It means inheritance, like spiritual inheritance, because this is more of a spiritual spread than a 3D, a relationship, something like that. I'm not saying that it ain't gonna come into play, but I'm saying that as of right now, this is more of a spiritual spread, explaining to you what is on your mind, what you've done, and the outcome. The outcome from this is you are a very religious person. You started off with you are a blessing from God, a gift from God, a, a high-ranking individual. Within the spiritual ranks, you are a warrior, and you have the God-given talent to be at warrior, and you spend a lot of time at the altar. That's the outcome from all of this. See what I'm saying? That's why I, I love, I like this, I love this spread, but... It, 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 it is a time consuming spread because it takes up a lot of cards and it takes up a lot of time. You have to explain each card. And um, <clears throat> and you, can, I, it, it don't, you don't have to do two or three decks. You can just do one deck. So, but anyway, you do have divine inheritance, which can be pentacles. It can be property, tangible items that can be God if you manifest it. God will give it to you with divine intent. Okay, you have to understand that. It's not about what you have. It's about what you do. It's about what you give. It's not about keeping it. Divine inheritance is something that you're going to get, but you're going to give. People misunderstand that. They pray for something and they, they're like, I, I never got it. Because you had the wrong intent. That's why. You never got it because you got the wrong intent. Yeah, spiritually, God ain't giving you nothing. Because you, you got the wrong intent. Mm. Ancestral protection. Part of that divine inheritance is you have ancestral protection shield around you. Grandma. Mm. Grandma all around. Grandma, oh yeah, and grandma don't play. Ancestral protection shield. Someone hurts you, or if someone tries to, and I'm not, I, let me, grandma ain't gonna physically go, she's just gonna send karma to take care of that. In fact, she don't really have to even do that. God's gonna take care of that. God says, vengeance is mine. And he means it too. Do not ever wish vengeance on no one else. Do not ever wish harm. Throw a spell at them, anything. God is going to handle that for you. Mm -hmm. But if they do it to you, Grandma going to catch it before it gets to you. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, grandma like, but she love playing baseball. She the best catcher in the world. Mm. She gonna catch that spell before he even get close to you. Yep, and then she gonna play that song that Elvis got, <laughs> Return to Cinder. Yes, indeed. Mm mm. Oh, oh uh uh, it don't get no better than that. Letters from Grandma. Hot damn. Grandma. I love my grandma too. Oh, I was close to my grandmother. Me and her was like, whew, peas and carrots. Yes, we was. Grandma. Letters from Grandma. Yes. Uh, ancestral protection, and she is part of those letters. I think that's part of those letters that she gives you downloads, streams, and whatnot. And it is all part of it that you know that your your ancestors are protecting you. And they are within our spiritual protection. Even though we are warriors and we can take care of ourselves, that's all part of it. Mm -hmm. Because grandma was a warrior before, before us. That's part of where we learned it from. You are a generational curse breaker. You break the chains that bind you, and there's a lot. There's a lot to that when it comes to generational curses because of what others have done. You have to pay. A lot of it has to do with generational karma, karma that is passed on from from lifetime to lifetime, and what you don't, what because of your actions, because of some things that you do. It's a ripple effect, meaning if I do wrong, if I hurt someone, if I, if I do dirty to others, and not just one, but a bunch of people, let's say I hurt a lot of people, that drop in the lake is going to ripple out and it's going to affect my daughters, my family, because of what I've done. That's part of, of their karma. From what I've done, they're going to pay for for some of the things that I've done. That's just a fact. Let's say, let's say, uh, uh, even today, even today, if I was to do something criminal and I had to call on my daughter to help me, then guess what? Because of what I've done, the repercussions of my actions he would pay for, uh, assume some of that karma, he would pay for it. And that's what I'm trying to explain. Now, I'm going to get some comments that say karma can't be inherited and that's your karma because of your actions. It affects others. You know, can we like not agree on something? I swear. <laughs> There's some people that just, it doesn't matter. And it's all good. I mean, I get it. I, I get it. It's your karma. But because of what you do, you're going to affect others. <sighs> doesn't matter, though, because you're going to rise as a phoenix. You are going to shine out of the ashes of them burning you, doing you dirty, hurting, lying, whatever the case is. Ripping your heart out. Mm -hmm. putting it in a meat grinder and grinding it up and making some freaking bologna with it. You're going to come out of that. You're going to rise out of it. And perhaps you're doing it now. And all along, Captain Reed said, it's going to happen. You just got to give it some time. It's going to happen. There's, the things is going to get in motion and once this train starts, you can't stop it. It's going to take place. You're going to rise out of those ashes of you getting burned. They will burn your entire place down. While they were burning that bridge <laughs> to your island, they burned everything with it. Scorched earth. There was just you standing there with no nothing. Nothing. But out of it, here comes this phoenix pretty. Very, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Speak, uh, seeking spiritual guidance. Mm -hmm. Atlantis.
pants under. I think that this is, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that you are, I, it, I, maybe one of your gifts, because it lands on, on top of gift of God, gift from God, and spiritual general. And I think that this is one of the gifts that you acquire. Perhaps you're a reader. And spiritual guidance doesn't mean you have to be a reader. It just shows a picture of someone reading cards. Spiritual guidance is a bunch of things. You could be a spiritual healer that is guiding people in the right direction. You, uh, Like I said, there's many aspects to spiritual guidance. And you don't have to argue with people. That's the, the best part of this and of this channel is I don't sit and argue with somebody about as far as I'm concerned, ridiculous things. The Christians love to argue about Christianity and they right and you wrong and that's the end of that. And that's good. If they, that's how they feel, I'm good with that, okay? Okay, next subject. Next. Next. Let's move on. Yeah. I let them be whatever. They, the problem with that is what if I'm right and they're wrong? Hmm. Never thought of that, huh? What if all of these years, all of this time, your ass been wrong and I'm right? Because Christ came here to destroy religion. He didn't come here to establish it. So if you're thinking that your ass is wrong from the start. Mm -hmm. Christ said, I'm going to destroy it all. I am spiritual. We are to worship God spiritually. We're not supposed to act like, you know, we're all that. We're not supposed to go to church and make as if we're Christians or whatever the case is. Buddhist or Taoist or whatever the case it ain't about that. It's about becoming spiritually awakened within whatever you're into. Yes. It's about if somebody comes to church and they need some gas and groceries, not to say we have a committee or there's a a freaking, uh, what, what they call them, them food pantries in town that you can go to. You don't send them over there. You take them to Walmart or to Brookshire's or whatever the cash saver and you go buy them some groceries and you go fill their car up that's what you do because that's what love does for people you're not supposed to be scared that somebody's taking advantage or you're manipulating them let them they gonna have to pay for that they, they gonna have to answer for that not you you gonna answer your blessing is coming because of what you did yeah unexpected expectations unmet Something that I don't want to flip another card because oh, twin flame, Lord, you have a twin flame, twin flame fallen angel. You are involved with you, poor thing. Poor, I feel sorry for you. I feel so sorry for you because you are involved with a twin, and that is one of the most heartbreaking things that you could ever imagine and that's what this says right here you you have expectations that were not met from your twin because they fallen they they are and i'm not one of them readers that's gonna sit here and bullshit you and say oh they calling you they're gonna be calling you uh, the car that's gonna come out they're gonna call you and they're going to they want to get in contact with you they miss you i'm not one of them if this is a twin flame a fallen twin that expectations are unmet they're most likely not coming back no no they're not coming back they scorched earth they burnt your 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 entire dwelling down they burn everything down that even would resemble you went inward towards spiritual guidance that's what that is seeking spiritual guidance you went see when it comes to to earth angels Pretty good out there, or... Yes. Okay. When it go when it comes to earth angels, spiritual warriors, and uh, empaths, divine empaths, those those type. When we disconnect, when we are burned, and we begin to seek, we we go inward. We seek spiritual guidance inward. That's what. A divine person does a karmic toxic person they go seek outward uh, guidance they seek 
outward um, toxic karmic. They they look for somebody to lay with. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to comfort them. We see comfort inward. We see conference uh, comfort from uh, spiritualism, from God, through prayer, through prayer and and uh, meditation. That's what we do. Through someone else that is divine, we talk to them. We find someone to talk to, to encourage us, to give us comfort. Karmic, toxic people, those that's in that camp, they seek someone to lay with. And that's how they get their comfort. It's, it's, they eventually find out that it, it doesn't do anything for them, but it's, it's like empty hope. Twin flame, fallen angel, my goodness. Hmm. High priestess. Hmm. We got both high priestess and high priestess. I told you. This twin flame could have also been a high priest or high priestess. This up here is you. This right here is not you. This is someone else. This is an energy that is not you. This is a twin flame, a fallen twin flame that could have was a a high priestess that an immense amount of expectations that were not met, that you tried, but they, they, they weren't met. I, a, a while ago I said that this reading was about you, this reading was spiritual. It's still spiritual, but the energy has changed. Right here, this road, the energy has changed. This is you. You are rising out of the ashes. You are coming out of it, and it's this person that did it. It's this person that burnt you big time, did you some a lot of dirty. And they know it. They know they did. Will they contact you? I don't think so. Just personal. I don't think so. If they do, it's it, it's going to be a... The odds are, are high on that. Uh, um, I, I guess the odds are, like I would say, you know, a hundred to one that they're going to contact you. If this person has a conscience, they're going to not contact you because they know what they did to you and they can't bear the guilt from that. Yes. And as you rise out, it even makes it worse for this person. It, as you come out and you are a phoenix and you rise out of those ashes, it makes it worse. Because as you're rising, they are dropping. Yes. Hmm. Let's see. Yep. Healing heart. Just putting that heart together. I think this might be that that th this might be a gift that you have because of what happened. That that this is all part of the gift that you are a healer. You you can heal people's hearts because yours have been broken so many times. This person should have done the same thing, really. If they if if they uh, had any type of trauma in their life, heartbreak, whatever the case is, they could have done the same thing and became a healer. Yeah, but instead they're in devil energy. Instead they're in devil energy. Yeah, this, this, yeah, it, it, it did change because this is not you. The, you are not in devil energy. In fact, I think you may have tried to heal this person's heart. I think you may have. And they, they just... This person is in devil energy and they're chasing. What are they chasing? Hands on top of ancestral protection. Unexpected expectations not met. It is this person because it lands on top of twin flame, fallen angel. It is that person that they are, this person is chasing. Chasing. Let's pop another card. Yo, they, they chase money. They chase material pentacles. They are a pentacle chaser, and that's what they did. That's why this, this angel fell. 
That's why this twin flame failed. Because they were chasing something that they shouldn't have been chasing. Instead of chasing spiritualism, this is the Judas syndrome right here. This is what Judas did. Judas did to Christ this exact thing right here. Judas went into a devil energy that he should have avoided. The temptation came to him and he should have pushed that temptation away. And Christ could have told him that, but he didn't. Christ could have said, don't, don't accept that temptation. Through Christ's teachings, he tried to teach every one of them. But even with that, Judas didn't listen. Didn't listen. Judas chased the, the silver, the pentacles. Mm -hmm. And where it got him. That's what exactly the same effect that this person is. The same energy as is this person. Whoever this is that you're associated with, if it's a twin, and you know that this is a twin, then it's the same thing. It is the same, same energy. I'm talking about eons old. This, this demon, this devil energy, because it's a demon, is, is, was as old as, as Satan himself. There is a lot of regret involved with this person. This person regrets. This could be you too. But I think this, this is them because it falls on top of heart healing. They are trying to heal themselves for what they did and what happened. Whatever happened here. This is tearing them up. They're trying to heal their heart from this. They broke their own heart. They may try to twist it and try to uh, victimize themselves and, and poor, poor me and all of that r ridiculous stuff. But they know in their heart that it's because of them. You did not hurt this person. This person hurt themselves. No. Yeah. And it says, I'm sorry, I miss you so much. You, this person is in a tremendous amount of regret and I think remorse. They're not just sorry they got caught. They're not just regretful that they got caught. They're sorry that they did it to begin with. They're sorry for what happened. And their ass is in poverty because of it. And that's normally what happens. That's normally what happens. Mm-hmm. It falls, and it falls right into everything else when it comes to that. The first sin committed in Scripture put them into poverty. They left the Garden of Eden, the richest, the most bountiful place that we had on earth. God evicted them. And that, that's the penalty for what they did. They paid for what they did. You're going to have to leave. You got to go. Poverty. And this person is going through some poverty. That's part of the regret. Sweatshop. They're working a lot. They are working a lot. Trying to make ends meet. They're working diligently. And they're going to for the rest of their lives. They're going to. Because that's all part of their karma. That they're going to have to deal with. There's nothing that you wish on them. You shouldn't. Don't, definitely don't do that. It's nothing that you wish on them. This is something that is brought on that they're going to have to deal with. And part of that karma, as I've said before, is the ripple effect. Because they done this, perhaps if they hadn't have done this, they could spend more time with their children. What If they're old enough, they got grandchildren. They could spend more time with them. There's things that they could do that now they can't. Part of that karma is they're going to work a lot and they're not going to be able to spend. Life ain't going to be as fun for them. Life is not going to be as fun for their children, grandchildren. That's all part of it. And that's all I'm trying to say. I I know I'm going to get a couple of comments that the uh, messages, they listen to music. I think you may too. I think you may too. Because, you know, when it comes to a fallen twin flame, a twin flame fallen angel it's a fallen twin flame you marry each other meaning that because this person can't sleep you can't sleep there's certain things that this person emotionally you feel if 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 you have some type of issue going on if if you are 
uh, and I'm going to just say it if you become uh, intimately aroused they know they feel it they got that feeling it, music if you become emotional listening to the music you may be listening to the same song and don't even know it but through music you speak to each other uh, telepathy it's it's a telepathic means that you use to communicate with with that twin unknowingly you don't know it they don't know it but they receive messages through that up all night <laughs> these they uh i just said you can't sleep because they can't sleep go to sleep yeah go to sleep i need all the rest i can get that's not sleeping making me look old as hell actually i'm good i sleep shit i just i got some good rest a while ago <laughs> It's funny as hell. I laugh. It's not. It's not funny because it's a very, very traumatic thing. It's something that is tough because you're dealing with a the worst phenomenon within the soulmate, spiritual warrior, <laughs> earth angel within the ranks is twins. It 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 is a. They are heart wrenching. Once they come into union. Perhaps it may not be in this lifetime, it may be in another. But once you come into union and this person says, I got your back, it's it's an unbelievable thing because in the five D you are in union. You you become you are in connection with them. Oh, financial karma. This the this is the cap card. Financial karma is the cap card. And uh, ooh, they they getting it. They got it bad. They got it bad, and it lands the the top six cards on this pyramid is regrets, poverty, sweatshop, messages through music. They think about you constantly, constantly, and they can't help it. It's some not something that you can just stop, and and you can't delete things that you. You, you can sanitize yourself of pictures, messages, emails. You can sanitize yourself from all of that. But you can't sanitize yourself from the, the thought of that person. That's, that's, that is imprinted into your soul when you were sent here. So then you cannot do nothing about that. So give that up. You will think about this person. You will compare someone else to that person. When you're with someone else, you may think about that twin. Yeah, so that nut job, fruitcake, karmic, that whoever they with. Yeah, why they with you? They thinking about that twin. Mm, when they kissing you. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, they kissing that twin. They ain't kissing you, boy, girl. <laughs> God, boy, get them all that stuff. Fruit, cake, nuts, nah, boy. That's it. They're like they don't throw the phone across the damn room. <laughs> they in the play energy. They were, and I don't know if they still are, but they were. They were too. Oh no, I think they're getting out of that play energy because they in a fool. They, this has been. A, they feel like a clown now. They feel like a clown, and they took a fool's journey. This is. I'm reading the bottom of the deck because we had already finished the pyramid and I'm just throwing this on top but they were manipulated spiritual manipulation they they were spiritually manipulated they feel like they were they you know I, I believe that it's all a damn excuse and it's just part of the you know uh, give me a reason why you did that well you know it's because it is because no because you made a bad choice yeah, you made the wrong choice I didn't I would, if, if soul tribe spiritual warriors say to themselves, every person that is watching this is presented with choices. And it's up to you to make the right one. Spiritual warriors made the right one. They're like, no, I was, I was presented with the same temptation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Old boy with the skinny jeans on. He looked all good and shit. Mm -hmm. I didn't take it. Mm -mm. I was like, I'm good. Thank you for the margarita, bro. But you, you can get to stepping. And if it's a dude, he's like, no. I didn't go to strip club. Mm -hmm. No. Because we, 
soul tribe, soul tribe, spiritual warriors, we really loved you. You didn't love us. You didn't give a damn. You didn't even care. Yeah. Because you, you would want to use those. I was spiritually manipulated. Yeah, this person, they, who, whoever they went towards, went, uh, whatever the case is, they had demonic attachment. That could be. And warring angels, you, twin flame, fallen angel. Mm -hmm. you, you went to war with this person. Your warring and their warring is different. You don't say a whole lot and you're only going to, you don't even attack. You do not attack. Spiritual warriors, earth angels don't attack. We just defend. We defend ourselves. We defend our circle. Only if necessary. Never attack. Not ever. Don't need to. Sacred union. You're supposed to be in sacred union with this person because they are lovers. And because they are lovers, you're supposed to be in a abundant harvest. You are whatever seeds that were planted, you should be in union with this person and you should be harvesting those seeds. And if those are pentacle seeds, they should be harvesting pentacle seeds. But they rejected oh dad oh there you are, you sucker. Yeah, they rejected God's gift for a bitter karmic. Imagine that. I just said that a while ago. Oh, look at that. Look at that face on that God, poor ass. And this is not, I am not like, uh, you know, against, this is like non-gender specific. So this could be a dude. Yeah. This could be a dude that maybe I ought to like put a, a goatee or something on it. Yeah. And they're liars. they in Jezebel energy or whoever they wit is in Jezebel energy. They are arrogant. They are green with envy. Oh, Lord, I can continue and continue. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes, indeed. I hope that y'all enjoyed the reading. I'm going to get it uploaded. Coffee with Captain Reed. And I got to take my phone off of airplane mode because... Just in case my bride needs me, she got to be able to call. And uh, because she's like not super, super healthy. But uh, just in case, I like to keep my phone on. And I only put it on airplane mode only for y'all. Because I don't fly. No. No. Ever since they took my wings, I used to fly when I was an angel. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since they took my wings, I don't fly no more. And on a jet or nothing. So, nope. I did a lot of that in the military and I'm done with that. I am done with that. I don't fly. <clears throat> the only way I would fly is if they let me drive the airplane. And they won't let me drive the airplane, so I ain't flying. <laughs> uh, yes, indeed. Soul Tribe be like, if we're on that airplane, we don't want you driving neither. Anyway. I love y'all. I, I really do. I enjoy. I enjoy uh, doing readings for you, my collective, my spiritual warriors, my soul tribe. Um, hmm. I had something I wanted to say and I forgot. Oh, I tell you what. <laughs> what was it I needed to say? Anyway, wasn't that important? If there's any questions, if I did miss, I'll. I'm going to go through in a little while. I'm going to go through some comments and uh, we're going to go through that. I'll get this this uh, video uploaded so that you can enjoy it. If I can tomorrow, tonight, I, I come back on watch it at 22.30. <laughs> Kelly said she had to count on her fingers. <laughs> Made me laugh. I busted out laughing at Kelly. But she said she had to count on her fingers. <laughs> uh, so I... Uh, at 22.30, I come back on watch, and I'll work till, oh, 4.30 in the morning. So, and, and, and uh, I don't know, when I, when I, we swap watches uh, in a, a few days, not this Thursday, but the next Thursday, I will go on, on what's called a front watch, and I will work from 4.30 in the morning till 10.30 in the morning. <laughs>
so that everybody knows. I don't even know why I told y'all that, but y'all need to know. That's on a need to know basis, and y'all need to know. So, and I'm trying to burn up some time so I can get to like 11, 11. But I've been catching hell with that too. I get it like almost, and it flips to 12. Yeah, can you believe that? Anyway, uh, God loves you, and he wants to talk to you. If you need to heal, and if you need to talk to someone, I can promise you this. This is a promise. God will never repeat what's said to him. There is no pillar talk with God. There is, you're not going to say something to him that he is going to repeat to someone else. It's going to stay with him. And he's going to help you heal. I can assure you that. He will send someone to help you. If it's Captain Reed, if it's Kelly, or if it's someone else, if it's Joanne, it's, if it's whoever. Evelyn, Christina, I have a bunch of friends now that within my spiritual ranks that are healers. He's going to send one of us to help you heal. I love you, Big B. I'm going to put my finger on this thing right here. And I miss you. When I'm not able to have my, you can ask my bride, I miss you. Peace out.